What more can you say? Everything is almost identical. But look at the record, 8-0 versus 6-0. And as that old saying says, you know what? Someone's O has got to go. Here's Michael C. Williams. Bellator Hawaii live on the zone now features the second fight in the opening round of the Bellator Welterweight World Grand Prix. Set for five five minute rounds. Introducing the blue corner at 5 foot 11, weighing in 169.3 pounds, undefeated as a professional. Six wins, no defeats. Now fighting out of San Diego, California, Easy and Ruth. And across the cage is adversary out of the red corner at six foot weighing in 168.8 pounds, undefeated as well. He brings eight victories without a defeat by way of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. He fights out of New York, New York, Neiman Gracie. In charge of the action, your referee, Mike Beltran. Referee Mike Beltron will oversee this first round matchup. All right, don't get over the rules already. Protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands at all times. Tough skills now if you want. At the sound of the bell, come on out. Handle your business. Let's go. Bellator Welterweight Grand Prix. The future is now for Easy Ed Ruth and Neiman Gracie. Two undefeated prospects on the verge of vying for the Bellator right, Welterweight round. Championship. You better fight. You better fight. Head on. Let's go. The bell in round one, Neiman Gracie in the red gloves, Ed Ruth in the blue gloves. Ruth, a natural athlete, sports always came natural to him as Gracie attacks the lead leg with an outside low kick. And you know, Gracie has addressed those comments that some people feel it's too soon for him. And when you look at the people he's faced, they have a combined 59 losses between them. But Gracie says, no, I belong here, and I'm going to seize the opportunity afforded me tonight. I think he's absolutely correct. He does belong here. You can take a look at both Ed Ruth and Neiman Gracie and look at their records, and it, they're very comparable. In fact, in Bellator, they both have six fights, and both guys have done either a KO, TKO, or submission in five of those and have only gone to a decision once. Ruth with the takedown, but again, Gracie not worried. Is he immediately looking for the and This is my point, especially while he's dry. This is a dangerous thing for Ed Ruth. Gracie looking for that triangle against the fence. Ruth in trouble early. That arm is caught inside there. That is a problem for him. Neiman Gracie immediately taking Ed Ruth to his comfort zone. Not so comfortable for Ruth, desperately trying to fight off this submission attempt by Gracie. Gracie is squeezing this. The problem is he doesn't have that arm. He needs to reverse this triangle for it so he can take and squeeze with both of his knees together. Right now, with that arm not being across, Ed Ruth is going to be OK as long as he can keep this position. Gracie. I see that arm across. Uh, he gets that arm across, he's going to be in big trouble. Ruth? Ed, Ruth, Ed Ruth needs to keep on twisting that pressure, putting that pressure in that twist that will release his head. Good job of body positioning by Ed Ruth there. And Ruth escapes momentarily, but Gracie, again, just so adept from his back. In full control from this area, and Ruth trying to land a right hand. And if I were beyond Ed Ruth, is backing up. That would be a smart move right now for Ed Ruth. Look at you just put yourself in a position. You were in danger. Figure out what you need to do. Slow yourself down and get yourself back to being composed and start winning your fight. Gracie has spent time training with Jake Shields, who, let's face it, one of the best ever at blending together wrestling and jujitsu. Gracie found him to be an invaluable resource. And we've talked about the all-stars that Ed Ruth has surrounded him with, but inside that cage, you are alone, John. <laughs> if they close that gate, there's only that one guy standing across from you and no one to help you. And a strong start for Neiman Gracie. Ed Ruth now just beginning to find his rhythm, tries to slow things down, see if he can land a few strikes. It was Gracie fishing for that right uppercut.
A moral victory of sorts for Ed Ruth here in the opening round as he escaped the submission attempt of Racing. Racing gets tagged with the jab, a power jab well, from Ruth. It wasn't only the power jab, it was the right hand that touched him before. That's what started to cause the problem. He needs to be very careful of Ed Ruth's right hand. Ed carries a lot of power in that right hand. And Ruth opening up on Gracie in the striking department. Rabbit knee to the calf. Heel strike by Gracie going old school there. Coming up on the final 60 seconds of the opening round. A strong start for the submission ace, Neiman Gracie. And Ed Ruth now trying to lean in on Gracie and try to land with some more offense. Been an interesting round, more and the way you're going to look at it is Take a look at that triangle attempt. Take a look at the problem that Ed Ruth had. And then now the strikes are starting to add up where Neiman Grace is starting to get hit by the shots that Ed Ruth is putting on him. Five seconds. Keep the elbows going. Let's go, gentlemen. Let's get some action. Ruth saying he feels stronger at welterweight. He thinks Gracie is a really good fighter. Gracie now goes for that guillotine. Ruth pops his head out immediately. That's, but that's the game of Neiman Grace. You saw how fast he started to bring that head down and going for that guillotine, talking about Jake Shields. Think about the guillotines that Jake Shields has caught people in, and that's what you learn how to do. Robbie Lawler. <laughs> so an interesting opening round here between the two undefeated fighters, Gracie and Ruth. Stop. Here's that triangle, Moro. Take a look at what is going on here. The arm being on the outside, he's safe, but when that arm crosses to the inside, right here, you have a problem. He gets his arm back outside, starts to turn his body, creating a lot of downward pressure on Gracie, and that's what gets him out of the legs as he breaks through that triangle. Keep the pressure on him. Well, there he is, Hoist Gracie, the man who helped put the Gracie family on the map. His brother Hoy and started the UFC, and he was the first superstar of the Ultimate Fighting Championship. A Hall of Famer watching well, another generation of the Gracies ply their craft. Got to be proud of what he saw in that first round. All right, Gracie trying to end Good that fight. fight with that Good triangle submission. Bell and round two, your unofficial scorecard after one. Unofficially, I'm going to give that round to Neiman Gracie. He's the one that put Ed Ruth in the most danger in that round. That's why he gets my score of 10 9. Gracie immediately kicking the lead leg of Ruth. Want to showcase his new wrinkles in the stand up department as they both continue to progress in their ever evolving careers. And yet here they meet so early, but with such a huge fingers, opportunity stop, and an eye poke, unfortunately. Hey, stay over there. <laughs> stop, stay right there. Check it out. You see the finger go into Neiman Gracie's eye, and it's right? usually Close on a hand. defensive action where you see the guy coming forward, all of a sudden your hand comes out to stop clean. his progression. Okay, and that ready? pokes Fight, him right go. in the eye. Action resumes. Ruth walking down Gracie. Gracie moving laterally, flashing the kick. Painting outside kick and the jab by Ruth. Another kick by Gracie, but Ruth read that one. There's a sharp jab that lands for Ruth, and then another shot from Gracie, and uh, in many ways going the way we anticipated with a BJJ black belt, a wrestling standout. They'll determine it in the standup. Yeah, and, and you know, that's what happens when you got two guys that are so good. Ed Ruth is the guy, though, that can determine if I want to keep this fight on my feet or if I want to bring it to the ground. I do not believe that Neiman Gracie has the technical skills to take 
guy like Ed Ruth down with a normal wrestling type takedown. And as we did see, though, in that opening round, should Ruth take Gracie down, well, Ruth can find himself in some trouble. And I think he learned from that first round, and that's why you see Ed Ruth doing what he's doing. Body kick, though, from Gracie. You know, the kick, both guys are going after these things in a different way. Neiman is landing some good kicks. He's landing kicks to the legs, kick to the body. But if you're looking at the punching, you're seeing that Ed Ruth is starting to land in combinations with his punches, and that's starting to give oh. him some problems. Lead right hand, counter shot, lands for Ruth, and it's Gracie gets the takedown, but a nice sweep by Ruth, but Gracie immediately fishing for a submission, and Ruth scrambling. And again, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, Neiman does a great job, changes level, drives into him, and Ed Ruth just turns that takedown into where he ends up on top. But still, this is a good thing, in my opinion, for Neiman Gracie. Having Ed Ruth on top of him, yes, Ed Ruth can do some damage, but you can attack him with that skill set that you are so good at. Gracie again, very active on his back. Take a look at the intertwining of the leg. Ed and Ruth is Ruth smart Ruth. to get himself out there. Gracie with two rear naked chokes, two neck cranks, two that arm bars, and an arm triangle Ruth. to his credit. But Ruth continues to scramble, even though Gracie desperately just wants to secure and keep Ruth in his grip. Neiman Grayson using a lot of little tricks in the guard position. He's not normally, right now, he's kind of collecting himself, slowing things down, but he's going after things. You see him intertwining the leg, trying to create situations that are gonna catch Ed Ruth off guard and that can get him in a position where he can submit him. How does Ed Ruth break the guard? How does Ed Ruth improve his position? What do you see in this? I honestly don't think Ed Ruth needs to break his guard. If I'm Ed Ruth and I have even on his back, I just want to make sure that I stay centered up on him. I want to posture my head up, and I want to, at times, bring heavy shots through elbows, hammer fists, and punches down on top of Neiman to slowly just degrade his ability to be effective with the submission. Well, Gracie controlling Ruth's posture. Let's go, guys. Need some action. And referee action. imploring them for more action. And right now, it's Ed Ruth is, is the one. Like in this position, when you see Ed Ruth on top, and he's not doing anything, yeah, that's the time you look to say, well, if you're not going to do anything while you're in the oh. top position. Swiveling his hips as Gracie looking for that belly down. Oh, oh, it's there. He's got a good chance, and he's protecting his arm. But there is an opportunity for him to get this arm mark. Gracie, methodical, systematic. Constantly thinking. And Ruth. He does have this. If Ed Ruth loses this grip that he has on his own arm, his arm is in trouble here. And Gracie playing to Ruth like beads of sweat here with 30 seconds left in the second, scheduled for five in the welterweight Grand Prix. I can't tell you what great balance that is by Ed Ruth to do what he just did and stay in that position. Oh, Gracie transitioned back. No, ah. Ruth finds himself in the guard again. Another triangle attempt by Gracie. Some incredible grappling on the part of Neiman Gracie. And yet Ed Ruth is fit to survive another round of submission attempts, courtesy of Neiman Gracie. Stop. Ai, bicho, que lutão, que lutão, bicho. Ai, ele tá morto, hein? Beautiful change and drive into Ed Ruth by Neiman Gracie, but he overcommits on it and is able to turn him, get out of the position. But it was a beautiful job of trying to utilize his legs to create situations in that transitional scramble. And you see him intertwining the leg here, giving Ed Ruth a lot of problems. Now, there's no submission there, but you're creating the, the opportunity for that submission. And that's what happened here. And Ed Ruth, although his arm was never in danger, he was in danger of it occurring. The reason you hear the cheer from the crowd here in the 50th state, 50 Cent is in the house, along with some bottles of La Chamin du Wine. I'm sure the, the winners will be popping bottles tonight. Ready to fight, ready to fight, let's go. 
After two rounds, Big John McCarthy's unofficial scorecard reads. My unofficial has one round apiece. I got a 10-9, 10-9. Now, I thought that Gracie did a great job in trying to get that submission, but it was never close to being on. And so that's why all the strikes that Ed Ruth landed gives him the round. Adjustments you want to see each fighter make in this round, John. I, you know what? For me, if, if it's Neiman Gracie, I want him to start doing things as far as go after that takedown like he did, do a blast double, pull guard. I don't care what it is. When this fight hits the ground, you have an advantage. When it comes to Ed Ruth, I want you to start being busy with your footwork. I want you to create angles. Your hands are better. You have faster hands, and you're landing bigger shots. Overhand right by Gracie. Don't just stand there flat-footed. Start to move. Gracie whipping that outside leg kick to Ruth's lead leg, and Gracie showcasing uh, the kicking wrinkle in this matchup. Even Gracie is showing, you know what, I'm a complete fighter. Mm -hmm. He is showing, you know, I can stand, I can kick, I have a complete game. I'm not just a submission guy. It's 2018, not 1993, <laughs> right? That is exactly it. Body kick by Gracie Ruth, though, walking forward. This corner, I'm sure, would like to see an uptick in his offense, and yet Gracie keeping him at bay with the jab. Oh, there's a stiff jab from Ruth. Double jab from Gracie. See, I'd like to see Gracie, if you're gonna double jab, double jab. Rotate that head and bring that right hand over the top. Another jab, two jabs land for Gracie. Ruth just single shotting. Ruth gets clipped behind the ear by the right hand of Gracie. Right over oh. that left hook by Gracie. And then Ruth, he's wearing it well, but not showing any urgency in his attack, John. You know exactly what you're saying. I oh, but there, a right hand lands may have caught Gracie a bit off balance, but Gracie again, where he enjoys being on his back, and not everyone can make that claim. Well, that right hand hit him, but it was because his leg was oh. caught by Ed Ruth. That hand actually hit him on the chest. It did not hit him with a, a power shot to put him down. He was off balance with his leg up. That's why he went to the ground. But again, I think this is a good thing for Neiman Gracie. Again, look at him starting to create situations. Incredible transitions. Beautiful. Beautiful scrambles. Just a beautiful demonstration of what jujitsu will do for you off of your back if you are active. I always said it's the, the arts and mixed martial arts, and I know it's a, a combination of everything, but uh, two of the new school warriors going at it here for an opportunity to move on in the welterweight Grand Prix, an opportunity to challenge for the Bellator welterweight title. With two minutes now remaining in the third. I'm right here, this is an interesting position right here, Morrow. If you take a look, you see a body triangle on the legs of Ed Ruth. So all he has to do to base himself is his arms. What Neiman Gracie is going to try to do is slide his head out from under one of those arms where he can turn Ed Ruth over. Wow. There you go. Gracie neutralizing both of Ed Ruth's legs, but Ruth oh. breaking it. And I mean, it's just I love so beautiful to watch. Exactly. A testament to their skills, the offense and defense, the, the scrambles. Oh, the, cage. the opportunity in chaos, John. Oh, again, oh, there you go. Attempt here. Look Belly got a left guard attempt by Gracie. But Ed Ruth staying calm, cool, and collected, not panicking. Whatsoever. There is no danger on that arm right now at all. There was, and Ed Ruth did the right things to get himself out. Coming up on the final minute of the third round, Neiman Gracie seemingly had an issue, was mentioning something to the referee. His focus should be on one person and one person only. That's Ed Ruth. Ruth unable to get on track does neiman gracie just controlling him from the bottom but there's ruth with a short elbow strike but body triangle being employed by gracie you know both guys have never gone past a third round in the fight and this is starting to have the indication this is going to go a little bit longer and you can see there's some fatigue on both guys but ed ruth is starting to look more tired to me than even Gracie. Yeah, both of them have only gone the distance, the three-round distance once in their respective careers as we are set for the penultimate round, round four, in this opening round contest of the Bellator Welterweight Grand Prix. 
The winner will face the winner of the Bellator Welterweight Champion, Roy McDonald, match against John Fitch and Gracie is having a conversation with Ed Ruth. I think I think that Neiman Gracie believes that Ed Ruth tapped with his foot, that it did not happen. Okay? You see him, he's pushing that leg down. There is You're no right, tap John. here. He is stepping over, he's doing everything right, and there was never a tap. That was great movement by Ed Ruth, but a beautiful arm bar attempt by Neiman Gracie, because it was tight at one point. And I am telling you, Ed Ruth feels different about that arm right now than he did when the fight started. Lucky it wasn't an Ezekiel choke. Remember, always crazy and hitting <laughs> Yoshida. A little controversy with that tap, but uh, we continue. And what a, what a fight this is uh, turning out to be as here in Hawaii, of course, so many fans of MMA. And speaking of Hawaii, the cast of Magnum PI taking in the Bellator MMA action, and one of the power couples in mixed martial arts, Gilbert Melendez and Kerry Melendez. And boy, you wouldn't want to get on their backs. <laughs> but two of the nicest people you would want to meet in the Absolutely. sport as we begin round four of this opening round contest of the Welterweight Grand Prix. And Gracie just landed a right hand that seemed to bother Ed Roof. As our unofficial scorecard from Big John McCarthy, you have it two rounds to one for Gracie Y. I do. Well, look at. Let's be honest. Who put who in danger in that round? That arm bar was close. It did not work. It did not end the fight. But it was the most dangerous aspect of that round for either fighter. That is why Neiman Gracie gets that round. And Gracie looking for the takedown on Ed Ruth again, and he secures it. And I'll tell you what. What I am seeing is Ed Ruth is tired. I was going to say, is fatigue becoming a factor you know, for Ed Ruth? It is so hard for someone to understand when you are starting to get exhausted, you have lactic acid, your legs are heavy, your arms are heavy, you're breathing heavy, it just slows you down. And right now, he is slowed oh, down. Oh, there you go. Mike Gracie, this both of them in him. the fourth round for the first time in their respective careers. With four minutes left in the round, Morrow. And Neiman Gracie. And Ed Ruth exploding, but giving up his back now, turtle position. Beautiful job of Neiman Gracie riding through that, allowing him to roll underneath him and getting his hook in. Now he's got that body triangle. And he's flying and he's got problems. Out. Remember, Gracie has two neck crank and two rear naked choke submissions. And that body triangle keeping Ed Ruth right where Gracie wants him. Yeah, right now, Ed Ruth should turn over so he is not belly down on the ground with that body triangle. This is a better position for him. And Gracie looking for that Monteleon, the line kill, that rear naked choke, but hand grappling by Ruth, but... And you know he can do it lightning fast. He can, he should switch that right now that that's up. Keep the body triangle the way it is. Just work your hands. But Neiman Gracie in this position, like you said before, Marl loves a neck crank, he will bring that arm across the face and start to twist. And we talked about it, it during the prelims, the reason being because of MMA gloves, he feels, oh, there Perfect. it is! There it is, and Ruth taps! Neiman Gracie wins again via submission! Gracie is on his way to the next round of the Bellator Welterweight Grand Prix, and you see him making that motion. And it's true, he has a chance now to fight for the Bellator welterweight title. Incredible. Wow. Hey, we talked about earlier, it's not 1993, it's 2018. Well, the Gracies are still very much a dominant force in the sport. Exactly, I'll tell you what, I am so impressed with what Neiman Gracie did in this fight. You could look at everything that was happening. Man, when he got that mount, watch Ed wow. try to turn. You see him let him rotate right in between his legs. He's got that body triangle set up, and he slowly, systematically starts to break him down. Ed did the right thing in trying to move the position so he wasn't belly down. But look at when you've got a guy that is as good with submission and as good with that choke as Neiman Gracie is, it's only a matter of time before you make the mistake that lets him get his arm around your neck the pressure is there, and there's nothing you can do. It's either tap or nap. And Gracie wore Ed Roof down like a virus, and in the end, Gracie improves to 9-0 with his eighth submission win, celebrating 
with Hoist Gracie. And there is Henzo Gracie. The Gracie gang will be celebrating Hawaiian Neiman. Already made plans to stick around. He loves to surf, loves Hawaii. Well, he will get to celebrate his 30th birthday, which happened three days ago in style. A huge victory for Neiman Gracie as he remains unbeaten, sending Ed Ruth to his first defeat. Let's make it official with Michael C. Williams. Ladies and gentlemen, the rear naked choke brings on the tap officially. Two minutes, 17 seconds into round number four. The winner by submission. And now, advancing in the welterweight World Grand Prix, Nemo Gracie. Oh, my belt. I don't know.